Please tell me you don't think that our time together earlier was motivated by anything other than my feelings for you. Jessica, you're not serious. I don't enjoy being made a fool of. And yeah, I know. I made the phone call. I volunteered for this humiliation. There was nothing humiliating. I am humiliated, Marshall. Then you're humiliating yourself with this cockamamie story you dreamed up. Look, I have just as much to lose as you do. We shared the risk and a whole lot more. Be honest, Jess. You know what I felt, what we both felt. That wasn't an act. I wanted to be there just as much as you did. I never said you didn't enjoy your work. How could you possibly sell yourself so short? You don't want me. You're not capable of just wanting me. You always have an agenda. Do you think I planned on falling for my opponent? You didn't fall for me. How would you know? You're so damn preoccupied with watching your back. You've never even taken the time to look into my eyes. I am completely smitten, Jessica. By all of it. The woman. The lawyer. The DA. You're so strong, so sure of yourself. You stimulate my mind. Keep me sharp. I'm at my best with you. And that's rare. Valuable and enticing. If you think you can seduce your way out of these charges, you've lost your touch. Jessica, I love a good fight, but this is foolish. You go public with these accusations and you humiliate yourself. You'll look desperate. The charges will never hold up. I'll deny them. And then the public will come after you for trying to sandbag me at the 11th hour. We'll let the voters decide. Don't do this. Don't do what, Travis? Then, it's nothing. Well, doesn't sound like nothing. Mr. Travers was just leaving. I'm not going anywhere. Well, if the lady is through with you, then I suggest that you make yourself scarce. I was never able to count on anybody before. To stick up for me. It was just me. But you're always there. Well, it's gonna be okay. I know it. My dad's gonna talk to Holden. He's gonna convince him. The thing is, there's still my mom and my stepfather. If Holden wants you to stay, though, I mean, he's your real father. He doesn't have legal custody. They do. And until I'm 18, what they say goes. But they'll listen to Holden. Uh, right? I mean, they, they have, have to. don't have to listen to anybody, Lucy. Look, I appreciate you talking to your dad and getting him to back off. But Seattle looks like a done deal. We're talking about Aaron here, right? Yes, I think maybe that I was wrong about him, that I judged him prematurely, and that you would rethink this Seattle thing. So you want him to stay? I don't want him to go. Forgive me being surprised, especially after everything that you've done to him. Well, I was tough on him. That's why I wanted to come to you right away and, well, make amends. So you're admitting that you were wrong? I was a little overzealous, maybe. Yeah. What is it that changed your mind? Well, he showed me something tonight, your son. Took guts to pull those kids out of the barn like that. That was selflessness. Do you would know what that was, if you saw it? Selflessness? Your son's a hero, Holden. You can't argue with that. Oh, yes, he's a hero. So that's why you want him to stay, because he's a hero. Uh, my objections were maybe unfounded. Bull. Beg your pardon? Even if he had pulled you out of that barn, your opinion of him would not have changed. Let, let's hold all right. Listen, I got a daughter in love, okay? Hey, tell me something I don't know. If he goes, she goes to Montega, all right? And I don't want to lose my little girl. That's why I'm trying. Dr. Harris, we're professional men. 
I sure hope we can conduct ourselves as such. Oh, absolutely. That's why I suggest that you say good night. Good night, Mr. Travers. If you insist on going public with these charges, I'll expect the courtesy of a call so I can prepare a statement. Dr. Harris? You okay? I'm fine. I appreciate the support, Ben, but that really wasn't necessary. What charges? You were discussing charges that you might bring? Yeah, I told him that we knew uh, he approached Roy Baxter and, uh, of course, he denied it, said we were being played. So what are you doing here? I'm waiting for Will Munson's test results. I thought I'd grab something and take it back to the hospital. Oh, how is he? Stable for now. Good. So what are you going to do? <laughs> what can I do? If I go to the press, Travers will say I'm playing politics, and he'd be right. Until there's enough for an arrest, it's not in my best interest to publicize these allegations. Then let Isaac or somebody else go to the press with what he found. You could admit to an ongoing investigation or not. Either way, it'll take the wind out of Travers' sail. Is this the ethical Dr. Harris speaking? This is the Ben Harris who's worried about Jessica, who seems to be paralyzed. She doesn't like her. You're right. I don't know what it is about that man that just confounds me. You asked the question, but I'd sure like to know the answer. Oi. You are not going to call my mother. Why not? Because you said yourself it would make her party to the crime, and you wouldn't do that to her. But I just let her daughter go to jail? <sighs> okay, here comes the Duchess. What happened to the man who drew a sword in my defense in Scotland? He's right here, trying to keep your highness out of jail. What's going on? Someone just entered Marshall's suite. <sighs> Go away. If it's bad news, I don't want to hear it. Fine. You don't want to collect on your investment. Tell me what you found out. Hey, how come you never offer me a drink? I don't like you. That's Brandy. Oh, Shh. I'm paying you to gather information. Nothing more, nothing less. I've made contact with Paul Ryan. And? <laughs> what a sucker. See, they're talking about you, man. I'm not interested in your opinion. What? What did he say? He wants See? information on he doesn't like her either. Tell me something I don't know. Did you know Paul Ryan is watching you? <laughs>